Hi family, so here I am, it's Zach and I'm tuning in today because it's finally come. The moment has finally come where the tyranny has reached a town near me. So I've been staying in Tulum now for the most part for just over one month now and yeah, COVID wasn't an issue. I could enter Mexico without needing a vaccine without needing a, any kind of test. All I needed to do was sign a piece of paper. But today got released an article with the governor of the local region of where I'm staying in Mexico, which is oh, I remember something rue and I'm in Tulum. <clears throat> This article, this governor was basically saying that as of tomorrow, for anyone who wants to enter restaurants, shops or bars or anywhere like that really, will need to have either a vaccination passport or a negative PCR or antigen test taken within the last 72 hours. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's considering the stipulations involved here. The, the fact that that would mean if you do not want to take a vaccine, which you have every right not to take, if you do not want to take that vaccine, that means you've got to spend, well, you have to get a test once every three days to prove that you don't have the virus. That's $25 every three days. And I know pretty much the majority of people here in Mexico can't afford that. <laughs> uh, it's, this is a complete joke, a complete tyrannical, corrupt, self-serving takeover that's systematically started at the top of this globalist, tyrannical pyramid and has filtered down throughout so many layers with countries going back into lockdown, such as Australia, half of it being back in lockdown. Talks of vaccine passports becoming a thing in countries like the United Kingdom, one of the epicenters of corruption. And now here, in a place that I came to, because it appeared that COVID wasn't really going to be an issue so much here, and now it is. Now I'm not able to get food. Now I'm not able to go and buy food from a shop without bending my, giving my authority away to this systemic scam. I've been angry with COVID <laughs> and I know it doesn't help. It's best just to stay in our highest vibration at any point. It really is. And just to be like, right, it's okay. Stay above it. Rise above it. We do not need to bow and go into that heavy negative emotion because that really, in fact, just feeds the beast. But truthfully, the whole COVID pandemic has just made me angry because I've seen straight through it. I've seen straight through the lies, the corruption, the deception. It's sickened me. The amount of people that have been deceived through sheer ignorance and blind faith. And so here I am, I'm sharing this now. As David Icke would say, and as I would say, humanity, get off your knees. We are strong together. We do not need to bow our backs to these self-serving, greedy, 
power-hungry individuals, of whom there are very few, so few of them. They have all the money they could ever need or want. The only thing they don't have is total power and control over every single one of us and our consciousness and our free will. And that's the last thing they want and that's the last thing they're trying to get. If I tell them, good luck, because you're not going to get there. <laughs> you can try all you want and your battles are already being lost. The war is already being won by the light. Our hearts stand strong, unified in the new grid of earth, harmonized in love, united together, stronger than ever before. This too, this global scandemic will pass. It will pass away. People are waking up every day, more and more. I will never receive that vaccine. So there is always a way around it. And just remember that from tomorrow, I will need to present a PDF on my phone to show that I have a negative test result. Wow. I'm just going to play their game. It's just not going to cost me any money. <sighs> Stand strong in your love. Stand strong in your heart. Do not let this affect you. You are stronger than this. You are stronger than the fear mongering. Bring in that light. Hold the light. Be the light. Radiate that light. That is what everyone wants to see. That is what everyone needs. Not only to see, but to feel. So from my heart to yours, to all of yours. I love you all. This is a challenging time. We've collectively asked for it and we've collectively agreed to experience it. But we will move through this. We will come out the other, other end stronger than ever before. That I can promise you. <laughs> so much love to you all. Stay strong. Stay firm in what you feel is right in your heart for you. You are supported. You are loved. You are cared for. Let's have it.